All of us dog owners and lovers surely want the same. Our dogs to live a happy, healthy and long fulfilling life. But sometimes we unintentionally do things that can harm our fur babies. In this video, we will talk about 15 most common mistakes dog owners make. Segregation from the pack. Dogs are pack animals. For a domestic dog, you are their pack and family. If you are constantly pushing your dog away or ignoring them when they try to climb in your lap and give you kisses, you're not only depriving them of affection, but going against their nature. Letting your dog stick its head out of a moving vehicle. Allowing a dog's head to be exposed on the road can be dangerous. Branches, rocks or other debris could collide with the animal's head. The wind also carries dust, insects and other foreign objects that could harm your dog's eyes. Ear damage is another big concern. Even worse, the dog might see something and feel the impulse to jump out of the moving car. Giving your dog bones. Many vets believe it just isn't worth the risk of serious injuries to give your dog a bone. Giving dogs a real bone could be deadly. The bone could shatter and puncture their esophagus, stomach or intestine. Your dog could even break a tooth get a tongue or mouth injury or have an obstruction that could require surgery. If you'd like to give your pup a bone to chew, at least avoid giving your pup cooked bones of any kind as they can break much more easily and splinter into tiny sharp pieces. Yelling when your dog misbehaves. Yelling is another thing you should never do when disciplining your canine. It doesn't work, just like physical punishment doesn't. You're just freaking out your pet. Not keeping your dog stimulated. Dogs need as much mental and physical stimulation as people do. Your dog not only needs exercise, but they also need to be exposed to different smells, sights and sounds. It makes their brain work better. Choosing the wrong color. As a responsible dog owner, it's important that you choose the right type of color or harness for your canine. If your canine is small or is a puller who likes to explore as far as they can reach, using a harness might be a better option. A front clip harness in particular is an effective method to avoid leash pulling. Not making socialization a priority. Dogs who aren't properly socialized will have a fear of new or unusual circumstances. This results in the release of adrenaline that increases blood pressure as well as heart and respiration rate. Using physical punishment. It's important to discipline your dog, but physical punishment should never be the way to do it. Reward-based, positive reinforcement training is much more effective than physical punishment. Reward-based training helps build trust and strong bond between the dog and their owner. Neglecting breed-specific characteristics. Some breeds require specific groom needs and others have predispositions to certain health issues. Pushed in faced breeds such as Pugs, Bulldogs, Pomeranians and even Maltese are much more prone to heat stroke due to their narrow airways and nostrils. Some long hair breeds such as Huskies or Malamutes have very thick coats and need extra care if kept in tropical climates. Bringing puppies to a dog park. Taking very young puppies to dog parks is just a bad idea. First of all, very young puppies still don't have all the vaccinations. Secondly, not every dog is as friendly as your pooch. Other dogs can be aggressive towards your pup, which can lead to fears and traumas in the later stages of his life. Leaving a dog alone in a car. Never ever leave your dog alone in an enclosed car. First of all, dogs don't sweat like humans and they overheat much faster than you think. They lack the ability to cool themselves off efficiently. Secondly, your car becomes a greenhouse in a couple of minutes, reaching very, very high temperatures. Exposing your dog to harsh cleaning products. Many cleaning products used in our homes are toxic to dogs. Always check the label. Any product that contains bleach or ammonia is hazardous to animals. Always keep the cleaning product stashed away and don't let your dogs to lick the bottles. Also, if you are cleaning the floor, try to keep your dog in another area of the house so his paws don't come in contact with the cleaning product. Letting your dog eat everything. Some dog owners love sharing their meals with their dogs. 
However, giving dogs human food isn't really good for them. Most times, the food we eat is too fat, too spicy or too salty for the canines. Make sure to avoid feeding dogs any kind of human food, even if it's little crumbles from the table. You don't take care of your pet's teeth. Like humans, dog needs regular dental care. Their teeth are home to hundreds of bacteria and need to be brushed, just like yours do. Some dog breeds are then even more prone to dental diseases. So always check with your veterinarian what kind of approach is best to take. Skipping flea, tick and deworming treatments. Preventive flea, worm, tick and heartworm treatment is crucial when caring for a dog. On that note, remember that heartworm disease is a serious disease that results in heart failure, organ damages and death in pets. Make sure to get your dog checked for heartworm infection every 12 months and deworm your dog regularly. There are other things that could potentially harm our dog's health. It is always important to think twice what is really appropriate for our dog to do and how to take care of them. If you are not sure, always consult a veterinarian or a dog training professional. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.